When I try to explain PackView to people and like we're going in a specific order, tags is the great unlock of the tool. Without it, I mean, you can use the tool without tags, but with tags, that's where you can really start having a lot of fun and be extremely precise and be dangerous. So I want to know- Precise and There should be a badge for that, I think. I agree. <laughs> so Wes, how would you, you know, in a concise way, like how would you describe what a tag is for someone who's never heard the concept? This is what you, talk, you tell people every day how to do this, so. Yeah, um, I would describe tags as a organizational tool. Um, you know, there's, there's two levels to it, you know. It can be uh, organizing your strategy or it can be organizing your data. Um, and those two sides of it, when they merge, uh, you, you really level up uh, in the tool. Um, you can establish tags based on, as Claire said, uh, based on your budget. And then uh, when you're ready to start seeing the results of that, you can organize your data uh, along those tags as well and really start to uh, create you know, different columns of, um, of performance uh, based on those tags. And it doesn't necessarily have to be based on you know, a certain group of items. It can also be based on a specific strategy. Uh, let's say, for example, you're uh, really needing to get certain items off the shelves. ROAS is not as important as you know, just moving volume. And so you could tag those items and really kind of have a different set of rules for them uh, than you do the rest of your catalog. Um, and, and that you know ability to segment within your existing organization, I honestly it, it can you know, it, to use the term again level up mm. um, your your uh, ability in the tool. Yeah, great. I think the easiest explanation is buckets. They're just buckets yeah. Yeah. for campaigns, whether it's like, I'm gonna use that for sure. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> auto category or you know the different categories you have or the different brands you have or one thing we. I love is like win versus play, which kind of killer. So if you have certain categories, brands, campaigns that like are much higher priority, you can get the more budget, be more competitive. They're win versus like play where you want to be more efficient. Um, you may not put as much budget there. And so you need to optimize and treat those very differently. So that's helpful that way also. Do you have a third? It's win, play, and I've seen it another. Changes. Uh, we've <laughs> had seen own, win, play competitively, which is huge categories that are very competitive, but you yep. need to be there. Um, play, and we've also thrown in compete, kind of as our play mm -hmm. competitively recently, so. So my explanation of the tags, and just, I, I love the tags as well. So what I like to say is, it unlocks three things for you. One is reporting and insights. It just gives you that granularity that we keep talking about. And then automation kind of covers the other two, and that would be the budget manager and rules, right? It unlocks these things mm -hmm. and makes you extremely specific in what you're trying to accomplish. So the beauty is, as we keep kind of growing this conversation, we started with this foundation of how you get started, or you can go Wes's route and kind of begin launching campaigns specifically. And if you tag them, you can imagine that you have these buckets and you get to report on these buckets or you get to optimize into these buckets for very specific goals. And it just makes your life as an account manager so much easier because without it, without it, the best example would be Amazon profiles or what is it, portfolios? Mm -hmm. And they just fall short. One, because you can only have one campaign per, per portfolio or you can only, a campaign cannot be in multiple yeah. portfolios. Whereas with tags, is there a limit on tags? How many Absolutely tags? not. No. no you could, so you could say, here are all my tags for the category branded auto. And then you can also say, here are my play win tags. And then you could also be like, oh, I'm going to use this for billing as well. Uh, we see that a lot, actually. <laughs> I've seen that with billing. There's so many different ways to use tags. Yeah. It's, it, it really is um, kind of the like Swiss Army knife of the PackView tool. And I, I, I really enjoy those as well.